Chapter 1 Early Life and Family Born on September 15, 1984, Prince Henry Charles Albert David, commonly known as Prince Harry, is the younger son of Prince Charles and the late Princess Diana. Growing up in the British royal family, Harry experienced a childhood filled with both privilege and scrutiny. Prince Harry spent much of his early years at Kensington Palace, where he lived with his parents and older brother, Prince William. Despite their royal status, Princess Diana was determined to give her sons a sense of normalcy, often taking them on outings to amusement parks, fast food restaurants, and other places typically enjoyed by children their age. However, Prince Harry's childhood was also marked by the intense media attention surrounding his family. This pressure intensified following his parents' separation in 1992 and their subsequent divorce in 1996. Tragically, in 1997, when Harry was only 12 years old, his mother, Princess Diana, died in a car accident, leaving him and his brother to cope with the loss under the watchful eye of the public. Throughout his childhood, Prince Harry attended prestigious schools, including Weatherby School, Ludgrove School and Eton College. While at Eton, he developed a passion for sports, particularly rugby and polo, which he continues to enjoy today. Prince Harry's childhood experiences, both joyful and challenging, played a crucial role in shaping the man he would become. These early years laid the foundation for his dedication to philanthropy, his commitment to his family, and his pursuit of a life that balances tradition with modernity. Prince Harry was born into the British royal family, a centuries-old institution with a rich history and a significant impact on the nation's culture and traditions. As the grandson of Queen Elizabeth the Liu and Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, Harry is sixth in line to the British throne, following his father, Prince Charles, his brother, Prince William, and his nephew and nieces, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. The royal family is made up of several key members, including Harry's aunts and uncles, such as Princess Anne, Prince Andrew, and Prince Edward. Cousins like Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie also form part of this extended family network. The royals are expected to uphold certain traditions and values, while also engaging in public service and representing the United Kingdom on a global stage. Throughout his life, Prince Harry has participated in numerous royal events and engagements, including Trooping the Colour, state dinners, and international tours. He has also been involved in various charitable initiatives, often using his royal status to bring attention to important causes. Being a member of the royal family comes with its own unique challenges, such as the constant media scrutiny and the need to balance personal desires with the expectations placed upon them. Prince Harry's journey within the royal family has been marked by moments of joy as well as periods of struggle, ultimately shaping his decision to seek a more independent life with his wife, Meghan Markle, and their children. Prince Harry, like other members of the British royal family, received a top-tier education that began at a young age. His early years of schooling took place at the Weatherby School in London, a prestigious preparatory school also attended by his older brother, Prince William. After Weatherby, Prince Harry moved on to Ludgrove School, an all-boys boarding school in Berkshire, where he continued his primary education. At Ludgrove, Harry excelled in sports, particularly rugby and football, and began to develop the strong work ethic and sense of discipline that would serve him well in his later years. Upon completing his time at Ludgrove, Prince Harry followed in the footsteps of his father and brother by attending Eton College, one of the most prestigious and historic boarding schools in the United Kingdom. While at Eton, Harry continued to display a keen interest in sports, playing on the school's rugby and polo teams. He also developed a passion for art, 
which she pursued throughout his time at the school. Despite facing the pressures of growing up in the public eye, Prince Harry's education provided him with a strong foundation in both academics and extracurricular activities. His school days helped shape his character, instilling in him the values of discipline, teamwork and perseverance that would play a significant role in his future endeavours, both in the military and in his philanthropic work. Chapter 2 Military Career Following in the footsteps of many members of the British royal family, Prince Harry decided to pursue a career in the military after completing his education. In 2005, he entered the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst, an esteemed officer training academy, to begin his military training. During his time at Sandhurst, Prince Harry underwent rigorous physical and mental training, learning essential military skills and developing the leadership qualities required of an officer in the British Army. He proved himself to be a dedicated and capable cadet, earning the respect of his peers and instructors. Upon completing his training at Sandhurst in 2006, Prince Harry was commissioned as an officer in the Household Cavalry's Blues and Royals, a unit that carries out ceremonial duties for the royal family as well as operational roles. With this commission, he held the rank of cornet, which is equivalent to a second lieutenant in other regiments. Joining the British Army provided Prince Harry with a sense of purpose and direction, allowing him to forge his own path and build a career that was both challenging and rewarding. His time in the military would also lead to important experiences and opportunities, including deployments abroad and the creation of the Invictus Games for wounded, injured and sick service members and veterans. In 2007, Prince Harry's military career took a significant turn when it was announced that he would be deployed to Afghanistan to serve on the front lines. This decision was highly debated, as there were concerns about the potential risks and the impact his presence might have on the safety of other soldiers. However, the Ministry of Defence ultimately decided that Prince Harry could be deployed in a non-publicised role. Operating under a media blackout, Prince Harry was deployed to Afghanistan's Helmand province in December 2007 as a forward air controller. In this role, he was responsible for coordinating air support for ground troops and ensuring the safety of both coalition forces and Afghan civilians. He served in Afghanistan for 10 weeks before the media blackout was broken, leading to his early withdrawal from the region due to safety concerns. Despite the abrupt end to his first deployment, Prince Harry remained committed to his military career. In 2012, he returned to Afghanistan for a 20-week deployment as an Apache helicopter co-pilot and gunner with the Army Air Corps. During this time, he participated in numerous missions, providing air support to ground troops and engaging in combat operations. Prince Harry's deployments to Afghanistan not only demonstrated his dedication to his military career, but also allowed him to gain first-hand experience of the challenges faced by service members in conflict zones. This understanding would later inspire his work in supporting veterans and founding the Invictus Games. Prince Harry's experiences in the military, particularly his deployments to Afghanistan, had a profound impact on him. Witnessing the physical and mental challenges faced by wounded, injured and sick service members and veterans inspired him to create a unique event that would celebrate their resilience and determination. In 2014, Prince Harry founded the Invictus Games, an international multi-sport event specifically for wounded, injured and sick military personnel and veterans. The name Invictus comes from the Latin word for unconquered, symbolising the fighting spirit of the competitors and their journey to recovery. Modelled after the US-based Warrior Games, the Invictus Games feature a variety of adaptive sports, including athletics, wheelchair basketball, 
sitting volleyball and swimming. The Games provide an opportunity for competitors from around the world to showcase their abilities, challenge themselves and build camaraderie with fellow service members and veterans. The inaugural Invictus Games were held in London in 2014, followed by subsequent events in Orlando 2016, Toronto 2017 and Sydney 2018. The Games have received widespread praise and support, with thousands of competitors participating and millions of spectators watching from around the world. Through the creation of the Invictus Games, Prince Harry has been able to use his military experience and public platform to raise awareness of the challenges faced by wounded, injured and sick service members and veterans. The Games continue to inspire and empower those who have sacrificed so much in the line of duty, providing them with a sense of purpose, community and achievement. Chapter 3 Charitable Work and Philanthropy Prince Harry's commitment to philanthropy and helping those in need is a significant aspect of his life. In 2006, he co-founded the charity Saint Vale, along with Prince Ciso of Lesotho, to support the mental health and well-being of children and young people affected by HIV slash AIDS in Lesotho, Botswana and Malawi. The inspiration for Saint Vale came during Prince Harry's gap year visit to Lesotho in 2004, where he witnessed the devastating impact of HIV slash AIDS on the country's population, particularly its children. Many of these children were left orphaned or otherwise vulnerable, struggling to access essential resources like education, health care and emotional support. Sent bail, which means forget me not in Sesotho, was established as a tribute to the late Princess Diana and Prince Ciso's mother, both of whom were committed to raising awareness and providing support for those affected by HIV slash AIDS. The charity focuses on providing psychosocial support, life skills and educational opportunities for children and young people affected by HIV slash AIDS, helping them to build resilience and overcome the challenges they face. Centibale also works to combat the stigma associated with the disease and promote HIV testing and treatment among young people. Since its inception, Centibale has touched the lives of thousands of children and young people in need, providing them with hope for a brighter future. Through his work with Centibale, Prince Harry has demonstrated his deep compassion and commitment to making a positive difference in the world, carrying on the humanitarian legacy of his late mother, Princess Diana. Prince Harry's dedication to supporting veterans and mental health initiatives has been a cornerstone of his charitable work. Drawing from his own experiences in the military, he understands the unique challenges faced by service members, particularly when it comes to mental health issues such as post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, anxiety and depression. In 2014, Prince Harry joined forces with the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge to launch the Heads Together campaign. This initiative aimed to tackle the stigma surrounding mental health, promote open conversations about mental well-being and provide support for those in need. Heads Together brought together multiple mental health organisations to collaborate and share resources ensuring a more comprehensive approach to addressing mental health issues in the UK. Prince Harry has also been involved in projects specifically aimed at supporting veterans. In addition to founding the Invictus Games, he has worked with organisations like Help for Heroes, Walking with the Wounded and the Endeavour Fund. These organisations provide resources and support to wounded, injured and sick service members and veterans, helping them to recover, rehabilitate and reintegrate into civilian life. By advocating for mental health awareness and supporting veterans, Prince Harry has played a crucial role in breaking down barriers and promoting a more open and compassionate approach to mental well-being. 
His efforts have not only raised significant funds for various organisations, but it also helped to change public perceptions and create a more supportive environment for those struggling with mental health issues. Another key area of Prince Harry's philanthropic work is his commitment to conservation and environmental initiatives. Recognising the importance of protecting the planet and its resources, he has dedicated himself to raising awareness about the need for sustainable practices and the conservation of endangered species and habitats. Prince Harry has been an active supporter of various conservation organizations and projects, including African Parks, a non-profit organization that works to protect Africa's wildlife and ecosystems. In 2016, he spent three months in Malawi, working with African Parks on their 500 Elephants initiative, which aimed to relocate endangered elephants to a safer habitat to ensure their long-term survival. He has also been involved with the Tusk Trust, a UK-based charity that focuses on conserving Africa's wildlife, particularly endangered species such as rhinos and elephants. Prince Harry has participated in fundraising events for Tusk, using his platform to raise awareness about the urgent need for conservation efforts in Africa. In addition to his work in conservation, Prince Harry has been vocal about the need to address climate change and promote sustainable practices. He has encouraged businesses and individuals to adopt more environmentally friendly behaviours, emphasising the importance of protecting the planet for future generations. Through his conservation efforts and environmental initiatives, Prince Harry has demonstrated his dedication to preserving the Earth's natural resources and safeguarding its biodiversity. His involvement in these causes has helped to raise awareness, generate funding and drive positive change for a more sustainable and ecologically conscious future. Chapter 4. Meeting Meghan Markle. Prince Harry's life took an unexpected and exciting turn when he met Meghan Markle, an American actress and humanitarian, in the summer of 2016. Their first meeting took place during a blind date set up by a mutual friend who believed that the two would be a perfect match. At the time, Meghan was best known for her role as Rachel Zane on the popular television series Suits, but she was also deeply involved in humanitarian work advocating for gender equality and championing various social causes. This shared passion for making a difference in the world formed an immediate connection between the two, and they quickly discovered that they had much in common beyond their philanthropic interests. Despite the public scrutiny that would inevitably come with dating a member of the British royal family, Meghan and Harry managed to keep their budding relationship relatively private during its early stages. They spent time getting to know each other through secret dates in London and trips to more secluded locations, building a strong foundation for their future together. The chance encounter that brought Meghan and Harry together would prove to be a turning point in both of their lives, setting the stage for a whirlwind romance that would captivate the world and ultimately redefine the role of the British monarchy in the 21st century. During the early stages of their relationship, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle faced the challenge of navigating a long-distance relationship, as Meghan was based in Toronto, Canada, while filming Suits, and Harry was in the UK fulfilling his royal duties. Despite the geographical distance, the couple remained committed to making their relationship work. They relied heavily on technology to maintain their connection, frequently using video calls and text messages to communicate and share their lives with each other. They'd also made an effort to see each other in person whenever their schedules allowed, often travelling great distances to spend quality time together. When apart, Harry and Meghan made it a priority to involve each other in their daily lives, sharing details about their day-to-day -day experiences, their work, and their individual passions. This constant communication not only helped to bridge the physical distance between them, but also allowed them to develop a deep understanding of each other's worlds. 
To maintain their privacy and avoid the constant scrutiny of the media, the couple often chose to meet in more secluded locations, whether it was a private residence in London or a remote destination abroad. These intimate moments together allowed them to focus on their relationship without the distractions and pressures of the public eye. Despite the challenges of long-distance dating and the unique pressures they faced as a royal couple, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's dedication to their relationship and their willingness to invest time and effort into nurturing their love set the foundation for a strong, lasting partnership. As Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's relationship developed, the couple quickly fell in love, growing closer with each new shared experience. Their mutual passion for philanthropy and desire to make a positive impact on the world only strengthened their bond. In the fall of 2016, news of their relationship became public and the couple faced intense media scrutiny and a barrage of speculation about their future together. Despite the pressures that came with dating in the public eye, Meghan and Harry continued to prioritise their relationship, nurturing their love and connection amidst the chaos. Their romance took them on a series of adventures, from quiet moments at home to trips abroad, where they experienced the cultures and beauty of countries like Botswana and Norway. These shared experiences deepened their connection and allowed them to learn more about each other, their values and their dreams for the future. Throughout their courtship, Meghan and Harry supported each other through various challenges, including the intense media scrutiny and the difficulties of maintaining a long-distance relationship. As their love grew stronger, it became apparent that they were building a partnership that could not only withstand the pressures of royal life, but also redefine what it meant to be a modern royal couple. This deep, unwavering love would eventually lead to their engagement and the start of a new chapter in the British monarchy. Chapter 5. The Royal Wedding On November 27, 2017, after months of speculation and anticipation, Clarence House officially announced the engagement of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. The news was met with excitement and joy from royal watchers and fans of the couple around the world. The engagement announcement included details about Harry's romantic proposal, which took place earlier that month during a quiet evening at their cottage in Kensington Palace. As they prepared a roast chicken dinner, Harry surprised Meghan with a stunning engagement ring that he had personally designed. The ring featured a central diamond from Botswana, a country that held special significance for the couple, and two smaller diamonds from Princess Diana's personal collection. Following the announcement, Harry and Meghan participated in a televised interview, giving the public a glimpse into their love story and sharing their excitement about their future together. They also revealed their plans for a spring wedding, with the ceremony set to take place at Street George's Chapel in Windsor Castle in May 2018. The engagement of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle marked the beginning of a new chapter in the British monarchy, as they prepared to embark on a life of service, love and commitment to each other, and the causes they both held dear. The world eagerly awaited the royal wedding anticipating an event that would celebrate not only the love between Harry and Meghan, but also the power of unity and the importance of embracing change. In the months leading up to the royal wedding, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were heavily involved in the preparations, ensuring that their special day reflected their unique love story and their shared values. The couple worked closely with their team to organise the various aspects of the wedding, from the venue and guest list to the flowers and music. Street George's Chapel at Windsor Castle was chosen as the venue for both the ceremony and the reception. The historic chapel, with its beautiful architecture and intimate atmosphere, provided the perfect setting for their nuptials. The guest list included close family and friends, as well as representatives from the various charities and organisations that the couple supported. In a departure from royal tradition, 
Megan opted to have a diverse group of bridesmaids and page boys, including children from different backgrounds and nationalities, reflecting the couple's commitment to inclusivity and diversity. The floral arrangements for the wedding featured locally sourced seasonal flowers, many of which were hand-picked by the couple from the gardens of Windsor Castle. The couple also chose to incorporate elements of Megan's American heritage into the ceremony, inviting a gospel choir to perform and asking the most reverend Michael Curry, the first African-American presiding bishop of the Episcopal Church, to deliver a powerful sermon. As the big day approached, excitement and anticipation grew among royal watchers and fans worldwide. With careful planning and attention to detail, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding promised to be a celebration of love, unity, and the beginning of a new era for the British monarchy. On May 19, 2018, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle exchanged vows in a beautiful and emotional wedding ceremony at Street George's Chapel in Windsor Castle. The event was attended by close family, friends, and numerous dignitaries, while millions of people around the world tuned in to witness the historic occasion. Meghan, looking stunning in a simple yet elegant gown designed by Claire Waite Keller for Givenchy, was accompanied down the aisle by Prince Charles, as her father was unable to attend the wedding. Harry, dressed in the uniform of the Blues and Royals, stood proudly at the altar, waiting for his bride. The ceremony combined both traditional and modern elements, reflecting the couple's unique personalities and their commitment to inclusivity. The Gospel Choir's moving performance of Stand By Me and Bishop Michael Curry's impassioned sermon on the power of love captivated the audience and created unforgettable moments. Following the ceremony, the newlyweds embarked on a carriage procession through the streets of Windsor, where thousands of well-wishers had gathered to catch a glimpse of the couple and share in their joy. The procession concluded at Windsor Castle, where a reception hosted by Queen Elizabeth II took place. The evening reception, held at Frogmore House and hosted by Prince Charles, was a more intimate affair attended by close friends and family. The couple shared their first dance as husband and wife, and guests enjoyed an evening filled with laughter, dancing, and heartfelt speeches. The wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle was a celebration of love, unity, and the blending of cultures. It marked the beginning of their life together as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, and represented a new chapter for the British monarchy embracing change and modernity while still honouring tradition. Chapter 6 – The Duke and Duchess of Sussex Following their wedding, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, now the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, embarked on their new life together, taking on a variety of royal duties and responsibilities in support of the British monarchy. Their public life as a royal couple included attending numerous events, engagements and official visits both in the UK and around the world. One of their first major engagements as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex was a tour of Ireland where they met with political leaders, local communities and various organisations. This visit marked the beginning of their work as global ambassadors, representing the British monarchy and fostering diplomatic relationships. In their roles, Harry and Meghan continued to champion the causes they were passionate about, such as mental health, environmental conservation, and gender equality. They worked together on various projects and initiatives, using their platform to raise awareness and create positive change. Their commitment to philanthropy and social impact was evident in the establishment of their own charitable foundation, Archwell. The organisation aimed to promote compassion, well-being and resilience, as well as drive systemic change across different sectors. Throughout their public life, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex faced the constant scrutiny of the media and the challenges of balancing their personal lives with their royal duties. However, 
They remain dedicated to their roles, working together to make a difference in the world and serving as a modern and progressive force within the British monarchy. In May 2019, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle welcomed their first child, Archie Harrison Mountbatten-Windsor, bringing immense joy to the couple and marking the beginning of their journey as parents. As they navigated the early stages of parenthood, they chose to keep certain aspects of their family life private, shielding Archie from the intense media attention that surrounded their lives. The couple aimed to create a loving and nurturing environment for their son, focusing on instilling values of empathy, compassion and curiosity. They also made an effort to expose Archie to different cultures and experiences, ensuring that he would grow up with a broad understanding of the world. In June 2021, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex welcomed their second child, a daughter named Lilibet Lily, Diana Mountbatten-Windsor. Lily's name pays tribute to both her great-grandmother, Queen Elizabeth E., whose family nickname is Lilibet, and her late grandmother, Princess Diana. With the arrival of Lily, the Sussex family was complete and their love and bond grew stronger. As parents, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were determined to give their children a life filled with love, learning and opportunities for growth. They strive to balance their public roles with their commitment to providing a stable and supportive home for Archie and Lilibet, emphasising the importance of family and togetherness in their lives. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle faced the challenge of balancing their family life with their royal responsibilities as they strive to create a nurturing environment for their children while fulfilling their roles as prominent members of the British monarchy. The couple made a conscious effort to prioritise their family, carving out quality time to spend with Archie and Lilibet amidst their busy schedules. They also sought to maintain a certain level of privacy, shielding their children from the intense media scrutiny that often followed their every move. In January 2020, Harry and Meghan announced their decision to step back as senior members of the royal family seeking to establish a more independent life while continuing to support the monarchy. This decision, known as Mexit, was met with mixed reactions and generated significant media attention. Following a period of discussions and negotiations with the royal family, the couple officially stepped down from their roles in March 2020. They relocated to the United States, settling in Montecito, California, where they focused on building a life that allowed them to better balance their family, professional and philanthropic pursuits. Despite the challenges and controversies surrounding their departure from royal life, Harry and Meghan remained committed to their values and continued to support various charitable initiatives, utilising their global platform to promote positive change. The couple's journey demonstrated their determination to forge their own path while honouring their roles as parents and advocates for the causes they held dear. Chapter 7 Stepping Back from Royal Duties In January 2020, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle made the unprecedented decision to step back as senior members of the British royal family. This choice was driven by a desire to achieve financial independence protect their family from the intense media scrutiny that had taken a toll on their well-being and gain the freedom to pursue their philanthropic and professional interests without the constraints of their royal roles. Their announcement sent shockwaves throughout the British monarchy and the public, generating significant media coverage and sparking debates about the future of the royal family. The decision was met with mixed reactions. Some viewed it as a courageous move towards self-determination and prioritising their mental health and family, while others criticised it as a breach of royal protocol and tradition. As Harry and Meghan sought to redefine their roles and forge a new path, their decision to step back marked a turning point in the history of the British monarchy, raising questions about the institution's adaptability to the evolving needs and expectations of modern society. 
Following their announcement, a period of negotiations ensued between the Sussexes and the royal family to determine the terms of their departure. The discussions resulted in an agreement that Harry and Meghan would no longer use their Royal Highness titles, would relinquish their public funding, and would repay the cost of renovating their UK residence, Frogmore Cottage. The couple officially stepped down from their royal roles on March 31, 2020, beginning a new chapter in their lives. They initially settled in Canada before moving to Montecito, California, where they established their home and focused on building a life that balanced family, work and philanthropy. Following their decision to step back as senior members of the royal family, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle began the process of relocating to North America to start a new chapter in their lives. This move was aimed at providing them with greater privacy, freedom, and the opportunity to pursue their personal and professional goals away from the pressures of their royal roles. Initially, the couple settled in Vancouver Island, Canada, where they enjoyed a brief period of respite from the media spotlight and focused on spending quality time together as a family. However, due to security concerns and the desire to be closer to Meghan's mother, Doria Ravland, they soon decided to move to the United States. In March 2020, Harry, Meghan and their son Archie moved to Montecito, California, a secluded and upscale community near Santa Barbara. There, they purchased a home and began building a life that prioritized their family's well-being and allowed them to engage in meaningful work and philanthropic endeavors. The move to North America represented a significant change for the couple as they navigated the challenges and opportunities that came with creating a new life outside the traditional royal framework. Despite the ongoing scrutiny and criticism, Harry and Meghan remained committed to their vision of a life that balanced their family, work, and passion for making a positive impact on the world. In the wake of their departure from royal duties, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle continued to make an impact through their various charitable endeavours, including the establishment of their Archwell Foundation. They also pursued various professional opportunities, including signing deals with Netflix and Spotify to produce content that aligned with their values and mission. Despite facing ongoing media scrutiny and criticism, the couple remained committed to their vision of a life that allowed them to focus on their family and make a difference in the world. Their journey demonstrated the challenges and opportunities that came with forging a new path outside of the traditional royal framework. Chapter 8. Building a New Legacy In the months following their departure from the British royal family, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle set out to build a new legacy focused on their shared passion for philanthropy, social impact, and creative storytelling. Central to this vision was the establishment of their non-profit organization Archwell. Named after their son Archie and the Greek word arch, meaning source of action, Archwell was founded with the aim of driving systemic change across different sectors and promoting compassion, well-being, and resilience in communities around the world. Through Archwell, Harry and Meghan sought to bring together their various charitable, creative and advocacy endeavours under one umbrella, enabling them to have a greater impact on the causes they cared deeply about. The organisation supported a diverse range of initiatives, including mental health, environmental conservation, gender equality and youth empowerment. As part of their work with Archwell, the couple also entered into partnerships with major media platforms, such as Netflix and Spotify, to produce content that aligned with their values and inspired positive change. These ventures provided them with an opportunity to share their message with a global audience, leveraging the power of storytelling to spark conversations, raise awareness and drive action on critical issues. By founding Archwell, Harry and Meghan demonstrated their commitment to using their platform and resources to make a difference in the world, 
all while forging a new path that reflected their evolving roles, priorities and aspirations. In their post-royal life, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle continued to actively advocate for a range of social issues that were close to their hearts. Their dedication to promoting positive change and raising awareness on critical matters became an integral part of their new legacy. Mental health. Both Harry and Meghan were vocal advocates for mental health, working to break the stigma surrounding mental illness and promote open conversations about mental well-being. They supported various mental health organizations and initiatives, emphasizing the importance of self-care, emotional resilience, and access to mental health resources. Racial equality and social justice. The couple used their platform to advocate for racial equality and social justice, speaking out against racism and discrimination. They encouraged meaningful conversations about race and privilege, supporting organizations that work to create more inclusive and equitable societies. Gender equality. Megan, a longtime advocate for women's rights and gender equality, continued her work to empower women and girls around the world. She focused on promoting education, economic opportunities and representation for women, aiming to create a more just and equal world for all. Environmental conservation. Prince Harry, an avid conservationist, remained committed to protecting the environment and raising awareness about the urgent need for sustainable practices. He supported various conservation projects and initiatives, advocating for the preservation of natural habitats and the well-being of endangered species. Veterans and military families. Drawing on his own military background, Harry continued to champion the cause of veterans and military families, working to ensure that they received the support and resources they needed to thrive after their service. By engaging in advocacy, and supporting various social issues, Harry and Meghan demonstrated their unwavering commitment to making a positive impact on the world, using their influence and resources to address the challenges and inequalities that affected people from all walks of life. As Prince Harry, Meghan Markle and their children embark on their journey outside the traditional royal framework, they continue to forge a unique path that balances their roles as advocates philanthropists, creatives, and most importantly, as a family. Their future holds numerous opportunities to expand their reach, influence, and impact on the global stage. In the coming years, the couple is likely to further develop their Archwell Foundation, partnering with organizations and initiatives that align with their values and passions. Their work in media production, through collaborations with platforms like Netflix and Spotify, will enable them to share inspiring stories and messages that drive positive change across different sectors of society. The family's focus on privacy and well-being will remain a priority as they strive to create a nurturing environment for their children, Archie and Lilibet. Their experiences with intense media scrutiny will likely continue to inform their advocacy for privacy rights and mental health awareness as they work to foster a healthier relationship between public figures and the media. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's future is filled with possibilities as they continue to evolve their roles, pursue their passions, and navigate the challenges and opportunities that come with their unique position in the public eye. Through their dedication to making a difference, they are shaping a new legacy that transcends the boundaries of royalty and redefines what it means to be a modern, global family.